In this lecture, we are going to learn how can we design, uh, you know, such beautiful login screens. Besides that, how can we code a simple login system? What is a code? How can we make use of if else loop for creating, for making a simple login system in app lab on code.org platform? That's what we are going to talk about in this lecture. So you know what happens in this, I already have defined a username and password field uh, for these two things which you are seeing over here. So what is going to happen if I will put incorrect information in uh, these fields. So I am going to get an error message over here. Okay, an error message is going to get reflected. Let me just show it to you practically. Let's say if I enter this as a username in this field and this in the password field. Now when I will click on this button automatically this error message is going to appear on this screen. Fine. And if I will put the right words, okay, right username and the password is this. Now if you will hit this click me button you are going to get redirected on this screen. I'm going to put an image element on this mobile simulator. Okay, and this is the first screen on which we guys are working. Now, in order to insert an image on this uh, component, we need to come on this choose button and here we have got an image of it. Choose this one. This is how it is going to get reflected. Now if you want to fill up these uh, you know white spaces over here you can change the value of this fit image. You can change it to fill and automatically you are going to see that you know it is going to fill up the whole space. The white space you will not be able to see anymore. Fine. The same uh, we are going to Tap on the share button. Let's copy this link and open new browser. Open a new tab on this browser. So this is how uh, your app is going to look like. Fine. So we have got two fields over here: this username field and the password field. Now, how you are going to uh, make it work as a real-time login system? How you'll convert it into a login system, or how you will? code for a login system. So for doing that, you can make use of this on even block. Let's put it here, this on even block. Fine. And there are two things which is getting, which are getting reflected over here. The first one is username and the second one is password. So it's a simple image which you are seeing right now. Let's make use of these two text components and I'm going to place it on this username first. Okay, uh, like this, I'm going to do it. Similarly, I'm going to put the second uh, input text input box on this second one that is password field. So this uh, this box I'm going to use for entering the username. And this one I'm going to use for entering the password. Now let's change the ID of this one. I make I'm changing it to username. Okay, and the ID of this one I am changing it to password. So you know that's how you can create beautiful screens like these. And yeah. I hope you are able to see a kind of border around this uh, text box. If you want to eliminate this border or if you want to modify the properties of this component which you have placed on this uh, login screen, you guys can make use of this, uh, this uh, panel, the properties panel. So I'm going to change the text color to black. Now whatever the user is going to write here inside these two components inside this component it is going to get reflected in black color similarly uh, let's change the font size also let's make it 17 
and for removing the border we can change the border width to zero so you will be able to see that the border is now no more visible to us the same thing we are going to do with the second one also which we guys have used for entering the password field text color <coughs> text color I'm going to choose uh, black and font size let it be 17 and for this border width we don't want any border so now it's a part of this uh, login screen how uh, you can modify this thing you can make use of this button and you can place it over here on top of this and after that what you can do you can make the required changes if you want to change the color you can make use of this background color property and change the color of this like let it be black for now fine this is looking perfectly fine and if you want to change the text which is getting reflected right now on this button you can change it like this so I am changing it to click me from button fine and let's change the ID of this one also login okay this is the ID of this button now let's come back on the code section before that I would like to create one more screen so for that we can make use of this new screen option for creating a new screen right and here we can define a color for this screen let it be of how about this red color yep this is looking perfectly fine and let's define a label box also over here so this is what is going to get reflected on the screen too when the user will come on this screen to welcome user if you want to play with the text color you can make use of this text color property change the font size too so now this is how you are going to see it if you want to bring it in the center so you can make the changes here in this text alignment property and it will get reflected some somewhat like this okay now let's check out the coding part how can we code this uh, you know login system so we have got a button over here the name of which is login so for that we need to choose login option which is getting reflected over here in this drop down what I want is when the user will click on this button I want him to get redirected on this screen too only if only if the user satisfies the the input which the user is going to enter here in these two fields if the input satisfy satisfies the condition which I am going to define here only then I want the user to get redirected on screen too. now how I will do that so for doing that it's a very simple thing which you guys can use uh, you know you guys can make use of if loop so we are going to put an if loop over here and let's check the condition so for taking the for reading the input which the user is going to read here enter here we can make use of get text property where is that get text property this is the one so we guys can make use of this get text property and let's replace this id with username so this is going to give us the input which the user is going to enter here in this username field now if the input is equals to equals to uh, let's say so this is uh, my name which I am entering here so if the username is equals to this then what will happen he will be allowed to enter into this uh, loop fine now here I would like to check I would like I would like to put a check on this password field also now how am I going to do that let's copy this whole code and put it over here inside this if loop 
what is the name of this component it is password so we are going to replace this username with password similarly i want the password to be to match with this string password if now the user if now the input which the user is going to enter here if it satisfy both the conditions which we have defined over here then only the user should be allowed to enter to get redirected on this screen too so for that we can define the set screen property over here let it be screen 2 and why we are getting this error over here can you tell me why we are getting these two things these two uh, red boxes over here it is just because we haven't closed this bracket so that's why we the, those two red boxes were getting reflected earlier now let's convert it back into block based coding fine uh, let's now run this application and check out whether we'll be able to get the desired output or not so we are going to copy this link from here and put it over here so now oh, the kind of view you are going to see on your mobile when you run this app it is something like this let's enter gaurav in the username field and in the password field i'm going to enter gaurav again let's see whether we'll be able to get redirected on screen 2 or not so we are not able to get redirected why because the password should be this okay it should match with this string now if you'll click on this click me button you will be able to get redirected on this screen too so that's how you know you can design a very simple login screen login uh, system on of your own on this app lab environment if you want to make it more attractive if you want it if you want to make it more interactive what you can do you can make use of this play sound button so once the user get redirect gets redirected on this screen too so he is going to hear this sound let's choose something from this notifications yeah this is better let's enter the name here and password in this password field so this is what you're going to hear in the background okay that's how you can make your app look more attractive and it, you can make it more interactive the user is going to find it more interesting on working uh, you know on your app which you have developed on this environment code.org in app lab now let's do one more thing if suppose the field the things which the user has defined over here if it doesn't matches with these things which we have defined over here then I want a, an error message to get reflected now how can I do that so it's very simple you guys can uh, make use of a label okay let's uh, define a label here just after this member login fine and let's change the text part of this one So I have changed it to incorrect credentials. Now I'm going to change the text color. Let it be. How about red? No, red is not looking fine. If you want to give a white color to this uh, text, what you can do, you can make use of this code six F. Okay, six times F, and automatically it is going to change to a red color text okay so incorrect credentials this is what you are going to see when the user will uh, you know in case the user in case the user has entered incorrect user id or password so in that case we would like to see this error message now how are we going to do that 
For doing that, we can make use of first this hide element block because we don't want this element to be visible to the user initially when he comes on this screen. So for that, we can make it go disappear. This is a block, hide element block, which you guys can make use of for hiding this element initially. So when the user, let's check this app. So when the user will come on this screen, that is screen number one, that error message will not be visible to the user. That's what we want, right? Now, what else do we want in case the user enters incorrect user uh, username or incorrect password over here? So what should happen? This error message should get reflected. It should be visible to the user so that he can come to know about this thing that the credentials which he has entered, they are incorrect. So for doing that, we can make use of if else loop. Okay, this is if loop which we have made use of here. In place of this if loop, we can convert it to an if else loop. So inside this if loop, what we can do, we can put this show element block. Fine. What is the ID of this? It is label three. So I'm going to replace this with label three. Now let's convert it back into block based code. This is how uh, the code is going to look like now. I think I need to make some changes over here. Instead of putting this else part inside this if loop, let's put it outside this if loop. Fine. Now let's convert it back into block based coding. Let's make use of this uh, link and check out the output what we are going to get here on this browser. So when the user will click on this uh, button, he will be able to see this error message on this screen. Why? It is just because the credentials he has entered, they are not correct. They does not matches with the credentials which we guys have mentioned over here. Fine. So that's how you can create your own login system. I hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and also share the link of this channel with your friends in your groups. Fine. And whoever wants to avail the coding classes facility, which I'm giving in just rupees 500 per month, you guys can contact me on my phone number that is 9891665634 for availing the coding classes facility. Thank you very much and goodbye. And